Yes. So for roommates and housing, the best thing Rutgers had is their Indian community. So they have a Facebook page called as Rutgers Indian Graduate Students Association. It's called as Riksa. So what we did was after we got an admit, we joined that page and we looked for places. approach seniors so people post their vacancies and when they, whenever they move out it's more of a kind of a facebook marketplace kind of but only for rutgers indian students so that was the main approach we adopted and it's more convenient to just go and check out there so rutgers is there in new brunswick and newark both are like college oriented cities so it's very hard to negotiate with the landlords and apartments so what it's not worth the time of just going for it so i would suggest that do not waste your time in uh, accept the rent whatever they have it's pretty online and it's straight forward it depends on what kind of room you want so when i joined people were more oriented towards having shared rooms and all but nowadays when what i noticed in last two years that people prefer to have private rooms so it depends on that so utilities and all normally we share among all flatmates if you go for a private room it's approx 400 to 500 dollars and depending on where you take the apartment and plus utilities 100 bucks for the rent when i moved in i paid around 400 to 450 for shared and then for private i paid around 500 so it's not much difference when it comes to utilities you have your internet cleaning and uh, electricity and gas bills that approximates to around 50 to 60 bucks and then for food i think it's 150 to 200 bucks or maybe 250 yeah so that was the approximate expense which we paid for when it comes to homesickness uh, not much because you there's a lot of work to catch up on as soon as you go you have your home to settle in and then your orientations begin your studies begin so not much but uh, it's a good indian community we have a lot of indian students so i doubt that there's any homesickness there I was pretty much with the Indian community only again the major difference which comes down to that uh, we don't have family over there and here we have family so that's a huge difference we have but then you never miss them like the university and your friends ensure that all are on the same boat so you don't end up missing anyone there and it's pretty fun there like you can do what many things which you possibly never thought of doing here like living by yourself preparing your own food and cleaning home so yeah that's a fun challenge